All right, guys, before you guys watch this vlog, I have something huge to announce. Literally right now, like right now, right now, like right now, I'm working on the Barbell Brigade Black Friday sale, okay? Look, I'm drawing it out on a piece of paper because before it becomes a nice website like this, everything starts janky like this. Don't make fun of me. That's how I like to do things. That's like how I like to communicate. I like to go with pen and paper. But anyways, the big, big sales that are going on, Black Friday starts November 24th on a Thursday at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss out, okay? Because all supplements are buy one, get one half off. Got it? Even our best-selling sour gumming pre-workout. Yes. Our brown sugar boba protein. Yes. Our immunity support, which is our electrolyte and vitamin C blend in aqua de pina. It's delicious pineapple. Yes. Our performance greens with six superfoods. Yes. Our apparel goes from 25% off to 50% off to 75% off, okay, on some items, which is crazy. Our mystery boxes, okay, are 25% off. All digital programs are 25% off. So it's our biggest sale of the year. You don't wanna miss out. So make sure you mark your calendars and uh, follow the Bottle Brigade IG because every single day we'll be announcing, we'll be, We'll be announcing some of our highest inventory items in a specific size, so like extra larges or smalls or mediums, so that you guys know exactly where to go to bum rush, because I know a lot of things have sold out really quick this year, and I want everyone to get what they want. So go to bottlebrigade.com on, uh, I mean, every day, but most importantly, November 24th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Good morning guys, I am extremely stoked. So I'm in one of my favorite places in Vegas. This is called Tivoli Village and it reminds me of Florence, Italy where it's very renaissance and it feels very European. And every time we've come here, we've stopped by this place called Leone Cafe which is right behind me and the line is out the wazoo all the time. So this morning when we were gonna try to get breakfast, I was like, I'm gonna call because we're kind of early and see what the wait is like. And I called them and they're like, the wait's only 10, 15 minutes. I was like, okay, cool. We gotta stop by. And one of the reasons why I'm so excited about this place is it has such a European, like Italian specific vibe that like, you know that feeling where you could just like walk up to a place, get a coffee, sit outside, enjoy like the beautiful air and the sun and stuff. That's what this place is all about. So when you come here, all the seating is first come first serve. So you actually go inside and order what you want and that's the sign if you guys are ever looking for it, the only cafe. And you could sit anywhere you want on the outside. We got mama and papa, not mama and papa, we got mama and taika over here. You know what I called you? I called you papa, you big kitty. So what I love about this place is you go in here, right? And it has a very like Italian cafe feel. So like looking even at the marble floor, as you can tell, I'm very, very big on decor. And then that's the menu up there. So they have all these hot beverages. And one thing that caught my eye was the Leone special right there. Look at that. Espresso, milk, honey, and cinnamon. I was like, ooh, never heard of that before? That sounds incredible. And in here reminds me of, uh, you ever been to Bodega Louie in LA? Has that vibe? You come outside and you can sit anywhere you want. Everyone's just having like a happy breakfast, chilling, talking. I even love that sign up there because that really reminds me of Florence. And everyone's just having a good time outdoors in the sun. And I love how they just have all these delicious pastries just sitting around. Oh, look at that powdered sugar. Looks like it's like freshly baked, ready to be eaten every day. Look at that. Almond croissants. So, I've been to Italy and I've been to Paris probably over four times. And this is one of the closest restaurants in America that I've seen that has that feel, that vibe, and um, those kind of like pastries. Look at that. You got cannoli right there. Chocolate tarts, fruit tarts. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, even like this menu, the presentation, like it's all like squiggly cursive. You notice the squiggly cursive? Oh, 
with like the extra fancy like Yeah, it just feels very European here. Yeah, I, I need to go inside. Like I'm now Oh you haven't been inside yet? No. Like now you like you sold me. Oh yeah, go inside. Do you have like an affiliate code? <laughs> no. Should no. I go up there? No, because when I came out I was like, babe, you need to go inside. But since it's first come, first serve. We tag team, I was like, okay, get a table first and I'll go in order. But you need to go inside and take a look. I, I am. I think I'm going to get dessert. I mean, it comes with a pancake. Oh, did you even see the bakery inside yet? I literally just said I haven't been inside. Oh, I thought you had, but I thought you had wandering eyes like me because I go like this. You don't do that? I can't see anything. There's just a reflection. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the line. It's packed out the wazoo now. There's more and more people. What was that? A fucking bird? So yeah, back to the menu. Um, I like they have like really like specialty type dishes. Like even like on the sweet side, right? They got Belgian waffle and I they got- I didn't even look at the sweet side, you know that? Really? Yeah, because I just was like, I want to just keep it as like healthy as possible. God damn, those are so close. But, so, I, so I, kept it, I kept it healthy too, right? We got the American sirloin steak and eggs served with pancakes. You so didn't talk about my pancakes. Did you? I didn't, okay. but every time, why? Because you want pancakes? Yeah. Because every time I see pancakes, my eyes always wander. I always go, okay, pancakes, down to the pancakes, see what they got. Classic buttermilk, okay, that's American. I didn't know they had the, I didn't even look. Did you berry, get the lemon? Did you get the berry? Of course, the, I got the berry lemon. Us? Well, I got it just for me. But we'll, we'll, we'll split it. You big kidney. What's the other one? S'mores, Nutella, banana. Oh. Guess who got that one? That guy. Of course. Yeah, so yeah, all the stuff. I love just the, um, it's like classic brioche, berry lemon curd. I like how it's like a very classic um, variation. They got like a very European variation and then a crazy one. Oh. Oh my. Speaking oh my God. of. Monkey, this is yours, dude. <laughs> yeah, that looks good, huh? Look, there's marshmallows too. Oh my goodness. All right, look at this presentation. Yes, it's the healthy version, so it's never super appealing, but still, we got egg whites, some greens, some hollandaise sauce on the side, and oh babe, you have to try this latte that I found. It's their house special one, just try it. I mean, what's different? I don't know. Oh. Let's try it. Jesus. It's honey, cinnamon. It's the one that I just showed you guys. Is it? Melted marshmallow, yup. Can I try it? Wait, wait, watch the water. The dangers of eating with the kid. That presentation is hell good. Put it up for you. You will, you will, you will. That's stressing out. Okay, so this latte is outstanding. Don't touch these, okay? All the flavors that they have here are very subtle, but it's very present. So you taste it, and, and it just tastes special. Like, it tastes high quality. Okay, there. Very, very good. Ooh la la! <laughs> the marshmallow straight into the mouth. Did you give him any protein? Like, is this his? Is this his breakfast? This is his happy, happy breakfast. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I just thought I knew he was gonna like it. Do you like it? Can Papa have some? Nutella, a little bit of marshmallow. Mmm, dang. That's really good. Oh. Yeah, let me see. What is the chef think? Chef Taika. <laughs> yeah, get a little bit of like everything, a little bit, and then dip it in the little sauce. It's a little bit. Just a little, a little sauce? I don't want it in the sauce. You have to. You have I to. don't it's, want it in the sauce. It's the European style. No. Oh, boy. And then I'll do it after. I should have dipped it in the sauce. Really? Right? Because it's like, it's very like European high quality tasting. I love it. Yeah, I just always get scared that I'm not going to like the sauce. So I'd rather eat the raw ingredients. Oh, I always go, I always go first. What does the chef intend? And then I do my own after. Yeah, I'm not a daredevil. That looks so good. What is that? Is that butter? I think it is butter. What? <laughs> Are you kidding is it butter? It might be butter. Try it. <laughs> it might be butter, you crazy bones. So now we're at Lake Las Vegas, which is about 30, 35 minutes away from the strip. And it's like this secluded lake area in Vegas that not that many people know about. And they got paddle boards you can rent, big old boat, and 
just a big old lake and they actually build houses all the way around it which is really cool out there you actually see some people paddle boarding having a good old time I don't know how clean this water is because it looks green but it is it's supposed to be blue you're gonna drop, I'm gonna drop you in there. No. Do you think I'm gonna throw you in there or no? Yes. What if I throw mama in there? Throw mama in there, throw her. <laughs> Why you hold on to me as you're pushing me, huh? Because I love you, you big dummy. I'm not gonna let you fall in there. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Cutie. I feel like this guy secretly wants me to push him in there. I do too. He loves the party. No, 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 don't throw anything in the water. You always want to throw stuff in the water. I'm going to throw you in the water. Here. Okay, Yay! 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 Does that make you scared? Yes, get off the edge. Hey, take a look at the snake. Is that a big snake? Hey, Mama, can I tell you something? Yeah. I'm actually, um... A little bit disappointed. Why? Because uh, I thought there's gonna be way more like cafe type places like where we just we ate at. We haven't walked around at all. But I could just tell that it pretty much ends right there. We literally just called like it's no It ends right there. I know but it's I thought it was gonna be way more shops like a like a pier. But nobody knows about this place. So there's not that much stuff. Oh. I mean let's just keep walking around okay. before we judge it. Okay, okay what fine. time is it? Oh it's 12. It should already be open. Yeah it should like, be maybe popping it's really right? Early. Because there's all I see is a grocery store right there. There is like a panini cafe right there. And then I think that's it. And it's just surrounded by like hotels and resorts. And I thought there was going to be like way more little knickknack shops and stuff. But I guess not. Let's that let's view look. is pretty cool let's though. Look. Where it goes all into the horizon and then you got a mountain. Yeah, monkey? Yeah, let's yeah. go. Not where the grass is, no. You need a wristband, it says. You see the wristband? Okay, this is pretty cuny. You hear the music? And there's a little cafe over here. It's called Mimi and Coco Bistro. And you got a nice little view of the, uh, I was going to say ocean, but lake. Yes? Hey, you used your hands. I thought you were going to jump. I thought you used your hands. Whoa! That's really good. You did? Look at that, Mama. I think that's like a half pipe or a quarter pipe. People probably hit it with jet skis and go crazy. Yeah, I'm, I can do flip with that. Yeah, I could do little flippy flips. I'm gonna do a flip and then I'm gonna let go and then go in the water. You wanna go in the water so bad, huh? Okay, I think I spoke too soon because there's way more stuff over here. There's even a place called Tokyo Social House. What do you mean, duh? How'd you know? Because we literally had just like parked and we're like, there's nothing. It looked well, it just looked like it ended right there and there. And uh, did you just say gelato? Yeah, behind you. Uh, where? Oh my goodness. Are we going in there? In a bit. I mean, I would still like to keep walking. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's follow the blondie. I always forget that. You know that? What, that you're blonde? Yeah. Come on, baby. I thought you fell. No way, I never fall. You never fall? Ever. Only fall in love for you. <laughs> okay, so there's actually a lot. So over here you have an Italian restaurant. You even have a casino back there. And it seems like it's the go uh, golf cart life where people just bring their golf carts and ride and bike life, which is pretty cool. So it's a nice little like village CUNY area that for some reason, like I didn't even look around the bend, but as soon as I looked around the bend, it opened up to so much more stuff, which is very, very cool. <laughs> How do you even know there's ice cream? Who said ice cream? Oh my goodness. So that's why logos work, huh? Because we were using the code word gelato. And somehow you, you knew ice cream. Alright, so we're discovering more and more. So we just walked up here. There's a little bike shop, nail salon, hair salon, a cool coffee and tea spot over here. That was the casino that I pointed at earlier, a little pub. And then you make a right and you go down here. Were you waiting for me, mister? No, it's just a restroom. I'm gonna use it. Oh, it's just a restroom? Oh, I thought there was more stuff going down here. Okay. What water fountain? This guy loves water. There's no water in the water fountain. Hey, that's a beefy golf cart. Hey, Mama. Yeah. I think I lost Taika. Finally. 
Uh, what do you want to do? You want to go get ice cream now? Oh, let's go get ice cream. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> you tricked me. He was hiding in there for a long time. Are you, was it hot in there? It was hot. <laughs> that was really good. That was good commitment. That's yucky water right there. Yeah, yeah, look how green that is. Now this is cool. The speakeasy. Libations, gambling, and tobacco. This is pretty cool. And I just love how everyone just brings their golf carts that they have from the communities and they just park it and hang. Where did they go? Oh, there he is. So this is the map of the whole joint. You got the parking garage for the hotel right here. Super nice looking. You got a question? What's the question? Yeah, I'm gonna go there in a little bit, okay? I'm just showing everybody the map. Look, what is this? What is that? It's a purple line. Graphic design. <laughs> it's graphic design, yeah. Look, it's, it's a, a PSD Flipper. file. Well, look at that man! <laughs> where? Yep, men are funny. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, this is where we're, we're here. And we walk through all the little shops. So it goes in a big circle like that. And you can drive in from uh, Henderson. This is on the Henderson side of Vegas. And then you got the nice lake. And that's what it looks like right there. Got this nice green grass area if you want to just chill. And you cannot, well actually no, there's a sign that says you're not allowed to chill. No, you cannot chill here. <laughs> but you can enjoy this view, which is beautiful. So here's a real estate company with some pricing of the properties in this area. If you want to get like waterfront, 10,000 square foot lot, well that's pretty big. That's 1.4 million. Over here, you can get new construction townhome for 539. Look at that. Wow, that looks really nice. Over here, oh, next to a golf course for 800,000. Oh cool, a bedroom condo, 289,000. So they got a wide range of homes that you can get. That's 1.25 million. This one's 600,000. This one definitely has the best view, but it's also the most expensive. Pretty cool. If you guys wanna live in Lake Las Vegas. Are you eating the giant ice cream? Okay, let's go. <laughs> you cutie. So let's get some ice cream. I know. This guy's a true Carreño troublemaker. Someone looks like a happy camper. <laughs> cutie. The biggest smile in the world. Which one is this one? The watermelon? Mm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And which one is this one? Uh, strawberry. Can I have that one? There's no more. Thank you. What are you going with? The strawberry is really good. By then we'll go with the watermelon. Because <laughs> that makes logical sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, because Bart won't do it, but check out how cute the decor is. Everything is purple. Super monochromatic. Purple. Cute little purple wall. Purple walls. Like, everything is so cute, so purple. I love it. My older sister's favorite color is purple. She would die in here. Look at this. So cute. Look at that. Everything is so cute and purple. The sharing continues. Just enjoying the lakeside views. If you've been to Italy, this is literally what, what it'll look like. What part of Italy was that? Florence. Yes, Florence. I remember taking a picture and these things, but instead of it being a hotel like that, there's just a, du a bunch of different shops. So you'll have like jewelry shops, and you'll have like arts and crafts, and just a ton just all across, like caf cafes, bars. So it's really cool to see that here. And it's one of those, if you know, you know. Oh no, our son shrank. Oh no, look how small he is. He shrank. He got small. But his attitude's still pretty big. Just like his. Papa! Let's take a picture? <laughs> 